So after we install the device driver for the TK503 serial programming cable, let's open up our Windows Device Manager to see which COM port Windows assigns it to. Right now, there is no cable plugged in, so we have no COM port assigned. I'm going to plug in one end to the serial port on the PLC and the other end to the USB port. And you'll see that Windows assigned the TK503 to the PC's COM5 port. Remember that number because that's what we have to set up in Automation Builder. So let's open up our Automation Builder project. There are two places we can set the gateway. For online diagnostics, we can right click on the PLC object and come down to Set Gateway. You can see that in our local channel, we do not have a COM5 setup. So let's go to Gateway, make sure we're installing on the local connection, and then click New to install a new connection. We'll call this connection TK503 underscore COM5. This is a serial RS-232 connection, and we'll click OK. To change the value of the COM port, we double click on it and just keep double clicking or using the up down arrow key on your keyboard until you get to the setting you want. All of the other settings should remain at default. Click again on the newly created channel. Whichever channel number is highlighted here when we click the OK button, that is the channel the laptop will use in order to communicate with the PLC. Let's go to the application now. We'll double click the application to get into the application environment. We see that we have a program by default. Let's go online and go down to our communication parameters setting. It opens up the same kind of box we just saw in the hardware definition section, but now we have to set up a COM5 in the application environment. So again, let's make sure we're on the local gateway. We'll do a local new connection. We'll call it TK503 underscore COM5. It is a serial RS-232 connection and we click OK. Again, we have to change the value of the COM port by double clicking and using the up or down arrow key on the keyboard. Make sure all of the settings stay at default. Click again on the channel name and then click OK. Our communication parameters are now set. To prove it, we'll actually go online. Even though we have no program, when we attempt to log in, it will automatically compile the default program and we can see that in the lower right corner that we are online with our TK503 COM5 connection.